Heading off to college for the first time can be overwhelming to say the least. So this morning we're going to help you streamline the process with tips on what to pick and what to skip as you head to campus. And joining us is co-founder of HerCampus.com, Stephanie Kaplan. Good morning. Hi, good morning. So you have a lot of great picks here, but let's go over first. How do you figure out what exactly students need to take and, and what not to take? That's, that's overwhelming. It is. Um, moving into college is a hassle, and it can be very daunting because you have so much more stuff at home than you can possibly fit in your dorm room. So you really have to think about what your lifestyle is going to be like at college and which items you're actually going to make use of. Okay, so let's get right on into it. And I know your first pick is saying, <laughs> bring lots of underwear and uh, skip all of those t-shirts. Why? Exactly. Uh, underwear is something that you can't really wear more than once, <laughs> and you don't want to be in a situation where you literally have to do laundry because you don't have a clean pair of underwear to mm -hmm. wear. So these underwear are five for $26, they're from Victoria's Secret Pink, and you can never have enough underwear. No. But t-shirts are one of those things that once you get on campus, you're going to be inundated with free t-shirts from clubs, from events, from every single thing you go to. So wait till you get on campus to start accumulating those. Yeah, I can't tell you how many free t-shirts <laughs> I have just taking up room in my drawers for sure. Now, we'll keep with the clothing to uh, sweatpants. I know everyone loves to hang out in a good pair of sweatpants. Exactly. In college, there's a lot of lounging, whether that's lounging around your dorm on a lazy Sunday, going to that early morning class across okay. campus, and you're going to want sweatpants that are comfortable but also look cute. Uh, so that's something that you're going to be glad that you have with you. Uh, one thing that you can leave at home is any clothes that you kind of don't wear very often, don't fit you anymore. If you don't wear them at home, you're not going to wear them at school either, and you're going to have limited closet space. Yes. So don't bother bringing those. Very helpful tip. And uh, storage, of course, mm -hmm. I'm sure is a, is a big factor as well. Right. So given that you have that limited closet space, you really want to make the most of it. You can do that with things like extra shelving like we have here. You can mm -hmm. get that at places like the Container Store, Bed Bath & Beyond, starting for as low as you know $7 for a shelf. And that just helps you kind of take advantage of any possible space that you do have there. Definitely. Now, how about um, laptops? Because that's a big purchase that it is. Students make. Yeah, you definitely need a computer with you at school. Mm -hmm. We love the Intel-inspired Ultrabook, which is what we have here. We have a model by Sony and a model by Toshiba. These are super lightweight and thin. They're less than an inch thick, and they have an extra long battery life. They can last up to oh, eight hours, cool. which is key. When you're in class all day, your seat and lecture is not near an outlet, you're taking notes on your laptop, mm -hmm. you're going to need that extra battery life. Definitely. And um, how about decorating a room? Because everyone mm -hmm. loves to have fun with that. They do. So you want items that you can bring with you to kind of personalize your space, make it feel like home and kind of less, you know, sort of clinical or bare because it is a dorm room. Yeah. Um, we have these cute pillows here. These are from OCM.com. That's our campus market. Yep. This one says, what would mom say? Um, something good to maybe keep in mind. Send yes. your nights out. That yeah. one is the Twitter hashtag, which is cute. I like that. Yeah. So you can find those on OCM. And I know you're talking about charging things too, so um, having something like an extension cord mm -hmm. or a surge protector is important. It is. Um, when you think about how many things you're going to need to plug in, there's your cell phone, your Ultrabook, um, maybe a blow dryer, yeah. um, maybe a digital camera that you're charging. Mm -hmm. um, you absolutely need surge protectors and power strips to get more plugs in. Yes. And uh, cooking. I know never, not everyone does a lot of cooking, but you should have some essentials. Exactly. You should have things like um, cups and mugs and a coffee tumbler with you. Mm -hmm. A lot of dining halls will actually give you a discount on your coffee if you bring a reusable mug with you. So it's a really? good idea to have one of those. Um, and then plastic cups. If you're going to be going to the convenience store every week and buying you know, plastic cups that you're going to throw away, mm -hmm. that's quickly going to add up. You may as well just bring some cups with you that you can use over and over again. And lastly, before we let you go really quick, you have um, some Charlie cards there because transportation is essential. It is. When you're in college, you're going to be taking public transportation all over, whether you're going out at night, maybe you have an internship in the city, maybe you're doing community service project. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be happy you have a subway pass with you. And one thing to skip is don't bother bringing your car to school. Um, parking is expensive. You're going to end up walking everywhere anyway or <laughs> taking public transportation. And when you're the one with a car, everyone's always going to be asking you for a ride. That is true. Everyone will bug the heck out of you. <laughs> all right. We want to thank you so much thank you. for all of your picks and skips for campus. And if you want to learn more, you can, of course, head to our website, WPRI.com.